I'm Yendi and I'm going to be visiting Australian Opal Carters today. I heard there's great reviews on their Opals and Herbal Experience. So I'm really excited to go and check it out. This way, let's go. Let's go and check it out. So Australian Opal Carters has a wide range of Opals and everyone's been talking about how amazing the experience is. And um, yeah, so I'm really excited to learn more about the Opals today. on the different types of opals that we cut. So black opal is the Lightning Ridge opal. It only comes from Lightning Ridge up in northwestern New South Wales. It's a tiny little field, only 30 square kilometres. And black opal actually starts with what we call a quite a light grey body tone and goes right through to jet black. So when you get really bright spectral colour, now all of these are over $10,000, okay? But when you get bright spectral colour on a grey body tone, it could be four times more to get it with the deep black base tone. So for the same thing, the price can go literally jump right up into those, those high, high figures. Boulder Opal is from Queensland. This one is completely unique. So every Boulder Opal is unique. It is where the colour occurs in the cracks and crevices of the ironstone base, and we've got to carve those out. So undulating surface, very uh, free, we call it free form, asymmetrical. Most people have never seen a boulder opal and they are completely, you know, they're really acquired taste. I mean, if you fall in love with boulder, you really fall in love with them because they're so unique and spectacular. Most people, if they've seen a solid opal, have seen what we call a white opal. So these are the Cooper PD opals. Cooper PD opal, we get more what we call yield. So when we get the colour in the rough, there's more colour. Okay, we're able to cut a lot more opals. We get a higher yield so that that brings the price down so big kilo of rough opal and we cut a thousand or you know a couple of hundred opals as opposed to black opal i'd be lucky if i get five or ten out of the same volume so it's a lot more affordable because there's more of it however it's still a thousand times rarer than diamond so don't let the you know the yes. fact that there's more whites confuse you because it's still hugely rare we actually use these to actually slice up like a loaf of bread to make doublets and triplets. Now, white opal, believe it or not, that colour there is exactly the same as that. Now the reason for the difference is we use a black glue and a bit of ironstone from the boulder opal, but ironstone without colour, to form a sandwich really, two layers together. The black glue causes the colour to refract differently, like when you see a black thundercloud come behind a rainbow. Okay, the colour really leaps out of you. know, you've seen that, you take your camera out, start to take a photo, it's really beautiful. With a triplet, it's the same thing. The layers are thinner, and then we put a quartz crystal cap on top. Now, the importance of the quartz is it's also silica-based. So the base of the triplet is opal, middle layer is opal, top layer is a silica-based quartz. So what that means is they all expand and contract at the same rate which means that over time they don't delaminate, which means they don't work apart. Now, the beauty is, let's say that opal down there was $8,000. This would be $800, one ten. Okay, same color, same look. It is a thinner layer, but you don't pay the huge price, okay? So, so in all of these different types of opals, we have basically an opal in any budget, okay? We've got anything from $100 up to $100,000, and you get to choose which one you like. So, Australian Opal. Thank you, Jason. It's amazing. I just can't believe the variety and how much opals there are here. I mean, Thank you. Something for everybody. Well, let's do some shopping. That's, that's great. 